Number 5. Lights Out is a 2016 American psychological horror film directed by David F. Sandberg. The movie tells the story of a family haunted by a supernatural entity that only appears in the dark. Teresa Palmer portrays Rebecca, she is a member of the family, with her mother Sophia suffering from a mental illness, and her younger brother Martin playing a crucial role in the story. Rebecca, having left home and built her own life, is compelled to return when her family is plagued by supernatural terror and her mother's mysterious ailment. Rebecca, characterized by her strong personality and determination, endeavors to comprehend the horrifying events unfolding in her family. Collaborating with her younger brother Martin, she delves into the secrets of the past, striving to find solutions to combat the supernatural entity that manifests only in darkness. Rebecca's character becomes a pivotal link between family members and a driving force in resisting the dark forces. I'm sleeping with the lights on. Every time I turn them off, there's this woman. She doesn't like the light. I know. I see her too. Mom? What's up? Did we wake you? What? The story. Long time ago, I had a friend named Diana. I found out something really bad happened to her. But she came back. She's gonna stay. As long as you keep the lights out. A dead woman in this house. Oh, God! Everyone is afraid of the dark, and that's what she feeds on. Number four. The Choice is a 2016 romantic drama film directed by Ross Katz and based on the novel of the same name by Nicholas Sparks. The story revolves around the relationship between Travis and Gabby, set in a small town in North Carolina. Travis, played by Benjamin Walker, an independent veterinarian, and Gabby, played by Teresa Palmer, a medical student, have their love story kickstarted by an unexpected encounter. As their relationship develops, it faces numerous tests and challenges. The narrative takes a dramatic turn when a hurricane hits their town, pushing them to confront difficult choices and find a balance between love and life. The film unfolds in a romantic and emotional manner, portraying the challenges and uncertainties that love brings. Against the backdrop of a storm that alters their lives, Travis and Gabby must navigate the complexities of their relationship. I don't make a thing out of it. I know you, and my big brother does not like it when things don't come easy. I have a confession. My friends like you better than they like me. Yeah, I was afraid that was gonna happen. You are in so much more trouble than I thought. Why do you make it so hard for me to flirt with you? If I made it easy, you wouldn't flirt anymore. What are you doing? Walking towards you real slow. Why? Because if I ran, I'd scare you. I did well, do that. Because you bother me. Hey, hi. You gonna tell him? We never talked about what this was. It just happened so fast, we got caught up. I love you. Well, I don't love you. Oh, hush, you do too. Mom! Knew it the second you set your eyes on him. Whose side are you on anyway? So come on out, break them, let's break them. Travis, swallow your pride, because that's all any woman wants, is a man who's gonna fight. Where is she? Where's Gabby? She's gone. Where? She left because of you. Like I was saying, every path you take leads to another choice. Come back to me, baby. Come bother me. Some choices could change everything. I should have been there. It's not your fault, Travis. Every moment of the rest of your life hangs on. Gabby! Burn with me tonight. Burn with me tonight. Number 3. 237 is a 2006 Australian independent drama film directed by Murali K. Thaluri. 
The movie portrays the lives of a group of high school students, delving into intricate interpersonal relationships and emotional entanglements. The narrative unfolds over the course of a day at school, marked by the tragic suicide of a student in the bathroom, shrouding the event in mystery. Teresa Palmer plays the character Melody in the movie, a high school student navigating the challenges of adolescence. Throughout the film, the audience gains insights into the lives and psychological states of the main characters through the use of different timelines and perspectives. Melody is portrayed as a vibrant and outgoing girl, yet she grapples with her own troubles and challenges. Her character adds complexity to the exploration of human nature within the context of the teenage world. They were all so jealous of Luke and I. Go, Michael. What's wrong with you? I can trust him. You know I can. <laughs> I sure, we think we have family and friends. But when stuff happens, serious stuff happens. It's just some stuff you can't share. Open the door! Number 2. Warm Bodies is a 2013 romantic zombie comedy film directed by Jonathan Levine, adapted from Isaac Marion's novel of the same name. Set in a post-apocalyptic world dominated by zombies, the story follows are played by Nicholas Holt a zombie who has lost most human characteristics. During an attack on humans, our encounters Julie, played by Teresa Palmer, a human survivor. Unlike other zombies, or develops special feelings for Julie, causing his heart to start beating again and triggering a series of miraculous events. As the relationship between R and Julie develops, R gradually exhibits human traits, and this transformation spreads among other zombies. However, they must overcome not only physiological barriers, but also the hostility between humans and zombies to find a way to coexist. but he's changing and he feels and he's learning to be human again oh my god is that him yeah sup he started something here whatever it is that you two have it's infecting the others dad they're somehow curing themselves they are not curing themselves <gasps> everything. We're seeing corpses fighting skeletons, sir. How do we shoot? Shoot this! Hi. Huh? How'd you die? How old are you? Because you could be 20-something, but you could also be a teenager. You know you have one of those faces. Number 1. Ride Like a Girl is a 2019 Australian sports drama film directed by Rachel Griffiths. The film tells the true story of Michelle Payne, played by Teresa Palmer, an Australian jockey who made history as the first woman to win the Melbourne Cup. The story follows Michelle Payne's journey from growing up in a racing family to becoming a trailblazer in the Australian horse racing scene. Michelle faced numerous challenges in a male-dominated sport, and the film highlights the gender stereotypes and difficulties she encountered. Despite the odds, Michelle's determination and passion for horse racing led her to achieve a historic victory in the prestigious Melbourne Cup. The film emphasizes the gender biases and obstacles Michelle Payne confronted in her pursuit of success. It portrays her resilience and perseverance in breaking through barriers and defying expectations. It's about patience. Michelle Payne, get up to win! Dad, Dad, get out of I've lost two of 
birth of a father. What happened if you die? <sighs> I have to ride that horse. His name is Prince of Penzance. He's had more medical issues than you. Another injury could be fatal. When can I ride again? <laughs> There's a reason they call it the most dangerous sport on earth. I'm still breathing. I'm still breathing. I'm alive. Can I do this? I know the horse can. <laughs> The only thing that matters is the odds you give yourself.